That lock needs a gust of hell's wind to open it. Psst. Yeah. Shh. It ain't supposed to be here. It's cold. Real quick, give me your blades. Why? Yeah, I said I'd help you and I aim to. Come on. Oh, my equipment's in Midgard. Be right back. Yeah. You don't suppose he nicked those, do you? There. And now they're ready for the winds of hell. Just target this magical glowy bit here with your blades and throw. <laughs> now target that wind trap with your blades. It's that little ball. <laughs> of hell whenever it damn feels. So you're welcome and I believe it. This place is oh. enough to freeze a pair of pigeon eggs. I sometimes wonder if there was once some sort of accident in his brain. We have been away too long. Sorry, brother. I'm still stuck on what I heard back there. Zeus was your father? Not now. We should focus on getting out of hell. And with that, I cannot argue. I'll just contemplate that little nugget in silence, then.
Get home to your boy already. We shouldn't delay, brother. It's straight back to Midgard with that heart. Your father was Zeus? I finally understand! I'm dangling from the hip of the bloody ghost of Sparta! Do not call me that. Oh, don't mistake me, brother. From what I heard, the Pantheon had it coming. It's still a bit to take in. I knew you hate gods, but you really can't stay away from them, can you? You must say nothing to the boy. He must never know. Bollocks, brother. Respectfully, bollocks. He has to know. He'll never be whole without the truth. Look, I get it. You hate the gods. All gods. It's no accident that includes yourself. And it includes your boy. Do you see that? He feels that. You can't help what he is. You can't begin to help it because you haven't even told him. It's all connected, man. You will tell him nothing. Very well. So you know that shortcut between realms? Well, I made it better. Or I might have broke it. We use that. I know you do. So I took a few gusts from them winds of hell and made it so it ain't just one way. Now you can use it to travel to and from. If I didn't break it. Then we can take it to Freya. There's an idea, brother. Might be some kinks to sort out, but you'll make it. Just go, brother. Well, this isn't right. Eh, but close enough. He did say there were kinks. We must hurry. The heart. You have it. Yes. Back of your hand. He is still ill. I can break the fever, but to heal... He must know the truth of what he is. Yes. It is not so simple. Help me prop him up. Did I tell you that I have a son, too? It's been... forever since I last saw him. At his birth, the runes foretold a needless death. The babe in my arms was so... small. So helpless. 
I knew right then I would do anything to protect him, no matter the sacrifice. Of course, everything I did, I did for myself. I let my needs, my fears, come before what he needed. And I couldn't see his resentment until it was too late. Don't make the same mistake. Have faith in him. I know the truth isn't simple, but nothing is when it involves your child. It is a curse. The boy has been cursed. Forget this. Thanks. Your father did the heavy lifting. You should stay, recover. You have done enough. You know my door is always open to you. That's Venon, isn't it? You figured that out, did you? Well, the window looks like Bifrost Crystal, and I know that's not what's on the other side of the wall. And, well, it makes you sad. You are wise for one so young. Yes, this is a window to a home I left long ago, but it is only a few. The thing that happened to you in Alphon, you can't leave Midgard, can you? A gift from my former husband upon our separation. Why would Odin trap you in Midgard? Petty cruelty would be reason enough for him, but as with all his rash decisions, he's driven by fear. The Vanir were the greatest threat to the Aesir until our marriage brokered peace. Many of the Vanir now think I betrayed them, the fruits of my sacrifice. To be hated by my own kind, to trap me here, is to ensure I can never make it right. Um, so I was wondering, why do you live under a turtle? <laughs> <laughs> he was my first friend here in Midgard. He offered me shelter, and in return I provide him with protection against the evils of the forest. Golden boar, giant turtle, he sure has some interesting friends. Now then, before Modi so rudely interrupted us, we were just about to explore Tyr's vault. Yes, to find the Black Rune. Boy, do you know the way from here? Oh, I don't know. Sure you do, lad. We need a boat. I don't know. I guess we need a boat. Okay then.
Ah, see? The boat washed ashore. Someone did call a serpent earlier. Get in. I will pull. You are quiet. Are you not better? I guess. I know you overheard my talk with Freya. You think you understand, but you do not. Why do you say nothing? You said I was cursed. You think I'm weak because I'm not like you. I know I was never what you wanted. But after all this, I thought maybe things were different. You do not know everything, boy. No. But at least I know the truth now. The truth? The truth? I am a god, boy. From another land far from here. When I came to these shores, I chose to live as a man. But the truth is, I was born a god, and so were you. Boy, have you nothing to say? Um, can I turn into an animal? Can you turn into an animal? No. No, I do not think so. I'm a god. Mother now? She was a god too? No. She was mortal, but she knew my true nature. I'm a god. Why did you wait so long to tell me? Time of anguish and tragedy. That is the curse. Hmm. What sorts of things can I do? Can I fly? Turn invisible? I don't feel like God. I do not know the reach of your godhood. But over time, we will learn. I can't turn into a wolf. You are welcome to surprise me. Is this why I hear voices sometimes? Are you sure you've never heard any? Not as you do. That's no surprise. Every god is unique. So maybe I won't get strong like father, but I'll have abilities all my own? You already do, laddie. Your faculty for language is extraordinary for one so young. Time alone will tell what else you'll become capable of. So you knew all along? I did, lad. But I've known more than my share of gods. Me too, apparently. I wonder who else knew I was a god. Freya, for sure. Barak and Sindri? They do not need to know. <gasps> Boulder! Does he know? Is that why he's after us? Do you know him from before? The day of your mother's funeral was the first I ever saw Balder. That is the truth. Hey, we don't have to go right back to Chair's vault, do we? I mean, we're God. We can do whatever we want, right? What do you really feel like doing right now? I will show you. Full of stories. When will you tell one that entertains? 
Jones. I beg your pardon? You just insulted you. Yeah, I got that. So you want a corker, do you? Very well, my brothers. I'll tell you the story of Hrunia, the brawler. The real story. There was a huge battle, right? His shrine had him in the middle, fighting off Aesir. A pretty story, but... No. Hrungnir, you see, was born with neither head nor heart. So the giants had to complete him with stone. He was strong, to be sure, but also a perfect simpleton. Odin met him wandering in Midgard one day. Found him so amusing, so harmless, so gullible, that he invites him back to his palace in Asgard. There he gives Hrungnir his fill of mead and goads him into all manner of boasts and antics, all for the amusement of the court. I was there. I saw the Aesir laugh as Hrungnir leapt upon his shield and swore he'd kill us all and take our womenfolk back to Jotunheim. Then Thor shows up. And does he laugh? Oh, no. Thor takes one look at the drunken stone buffoon and brings down Mjolnir on his head so hard that he's got chunks of Hrungnir in his own skull to this day. Thor is so startled by the face full of rock he doesn't notice Hrungnir's body topple right onto him with a sickening crunch. And again, the roars of laughter echo through the palace halls. That's an awful story, Mimir. Nothing like the one's mother told me. Let that be a lesson, my son. Truth is seldom so pretty as myth and legend. Let's try this again, without interruptions.